Hey everybody, T. Stephen Sullivan here. I'm the author of the novel Hot Run. Now for those of you who have read or if you are reading my book right now and you've never been aboard a fast tech submarine before, what I've done is I've gone and I've put together this 3D virtual tour of a fast attack submarine so you can have a little bit better feel for where all the action is taking place. So what I've done is I've designed this 3D uh, virtual USS Key West, which is the fictional submarine I use in my book based upon, inspired by the actual USS Key West, which I served aboard during my time in the Navy. Now, I must warn you ahead of time, by trade, I am not a 3D animator, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. So I think this will do a little bit better job of giving you the feel for the inside of a submarine uh, rather than just doing a one-line schematic drawing um, in the front of the book. So let me open this up a little bit wider. Okay, here we go. Now, in this first video, I'm going to give you the general uh, layout of the submarine. And if you'd like a more specific walkthrough, level by level on the submarine, I'll post some more videos up on my website where you can see those. And those can be found at tstevensullivan.com slash 3d sub and I'll have all the videos uh, hosted on there um, but for now we're gonna take a look at the submarine and I'll give you the basics on this and let me swing around here I've peeled away the side so you can look in uh, now the first thing to notice um, the only area I really concentrated on building in the submarine was the forward compartment of the boat um, the after part of the submarine is going to be uh, this area is going to be reactor and then engine room uh, so about two-thirds of the submarine is just reactor and engine room now the the main action in the book takes place uh, pretty much completely in the front end of the submarine okay the first thing I'm going to talk about is the top side of the submarine when a submarine is on the surface you're only going to see about the top quarter of the submarine. The rest of it is underneath the water. So even when a submarine's on the surface, most of the crew uh, is walking around uh, under the water line, with the exception of uh, typically there's the officer of the deck and the lookout who hang out up on this top part, which is called the sail. And uh, we do have some events in the book that take place up in the sail. Um, so you can look uh, look for those and there's typically like I said the officer the deck will ride up there and the lookout um, now on this you see these uh, these wing like structures that jut out those are the fair water planes and then as you go uh, as you follow along the back to the tail of the submarine you're gonna have the rudder that will stick out of the water a little bit when it's on the surface and then the screw or propeller will be underneath the waterline. Now the screw on a submarine is extremely classified so I didn't even uh, go into designing that in my 3D program but uh, I'm sure you all can think of what a propeller looks like and, um, and use your imaginations from there. Alright now taking you back inside of the submarine uh, as you make your way down the hatches there is uh, there's going to be three levels on the submarine. There's the upper level, and the middle level, and the lower level. Now I'll take a look at each one of those. Um, first, we'll look at the upper upper level. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Sorry, don't mean to get you uh, seasick watching this. Um, but uh, on the upper level here. You are, you're going to have your control room and that's where the, the ship's control party will, will drive the boat from. Uh, you've got the radio room behind control. Inside of control you have your two periscopes, uh, your fire control technicians, those are the guys who program the uh, missiles and the torpedoes. Um, you've got your quartermaster plots where they chart out the courses. Um, there's going to be sonar, the CO and XO staterooms are up on that uh, upper level, and, uh, and then combat systems electronic space. Um, going down from there, underneath upper level, is going to be middle level. This is where uh, most of the uh, living quarters are, 
We have the cruise mess. Uh, these five tables where the enlisted guys eat. Uh, there's going to be the galley where all the food is prepared. There's the uh, wardroom where the officers eat. Uh, we have the, the different berthing areas where all the guys uh, and the crew will sleep. Uh, aft cruise berthing, forward cruise berthing. Um, there's going to be a couple officer uh, state rooms for the department heads and two of their junior officers to stay. And then up towards the front of the boat, there's the, um, the chief's quarters, or the goat lockers, we like to call it. And they've got their own little table in there. They don't eat their meals in there, per se, but it's a place where they can have coffee, that sort of thing. And then they have some, uh, they have some birthing uh, in there where they sleep on their racks. Um, going from there, oops, and go to the right spot here. Where is it? There we go. Lower level. Now, lower level of the submarine, um, you have a little bit of, of sleeping areas on there. 21-man um, berthing on lower level. There's the auxiliary machinery room. This is where the emergency diesel engine would be if we lost uh, reactor power. That would power the boat. And then uh, going forward from there is the torpedo room. We have a lot of, uh, lot of action in the book that takes place in the torpedo room. And uh, I was a torpedo man, so I spent uh, a whole lot of time uh, within the torpedo room uh, when I was in the Navy. And then you have the torpedo tubes, of course, uh, in the torpedo room. Uh, vertical launch center uh, is in the forward area of lower level. And then we have uh, 12 Tomahawk missile tubes that would be um, the vertical launch uh, missiles. And that would be all inside of the submarine. All right, well, that wraps up my quick tour of my 3D submarine. And as I said, if you'd like to take a more in-depth tour and see where Petty Officer Thomas Quinn and his ragtag band of SEAL Team wannabes are running amok around the USS Key West, uh, just go to my website, tstevensullivan.com slash 3D sub. And you can see the more in-depth videos level by level uh, where I'll walk you through and you can get a real good idea uh, of where everything is taking place. As always, I would love to hear from you. You can get a hold of me on Twitter. You can find me at, at SubmanSully, S-U-B-M-A-N-S-U-L-L-Y. Or you can find me on Facebook at Facebook.com slash T dot Stephen dot Sullivan. And as always, on my website, tstevensullivan.com, I would love to hear from you. I love to hear that feedback on the book. And if you've enjoyed Hot Run, please feel free to go to amazon.com or to Barnes & Noble and leave me a review. Let everybody know uh, if you enjoyed the book. I appreciate that. That's one of the best ways for me to be able to get the word out there uh, about my novel, Hot Run. And be on the lookout for more adventures coming up with Petty Officer Quinn, hopefully later on this spring. I will see you later.